Hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for watching. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a really quick and effective uh, colour scheme for High Fleet Kraken and High Fleet Leviathan using a couple of the new termagants from the Leviathan box set. Now, we're starting off both schemes with a spray paint of Colourforge Games Desert Sand. Any kind of sandy colour will work perfectly fine. Doesn't have to be that mate, but that's the particular one used in this case. Now, I've done the base with a Vallejo textured paste, and I'm painting the base first here because we're going to actually do all the highlighting layers on the base using the initial techniques of this colour scheme. So again, another time-saving method. I glued some plastic skulls on the base, so I'm just covering those with bone white. And then that Vallejo bone white is the first scheme we're going to do here. So we're doing a light dry brush across the entire model to pick up all the raised areas and also onto the base to start the kind of um, multi-tones we're going to go for before we move on to the washes and contrast. Now this technique is known, I think, in the community as slap chop. We're not quite doing that because we're not going to jump straight into using contrast paints, which is what a lot of people do. We're going to have a stage in between. So we've done the bone white dry brush. Now we're going to cross with an off white dry brush across the entire model. So whenever we're actually using pure white, we're not going right up to that level. But those two stage dry brushes with those two different kind of off white colours, the bone white gives a bit more of a rich feel. The off white is a little bit starker. Once those are dried, we're washing the entire model, including the base, with Games Workshop Seraphim Sepia. Now, this is probably the longest stage of this paint. The first two dry brushes are probably 30 seconds or so a model, so you spent a minute or so. A little bit of time to put the wash on, but you do need to leave this to dry. I left it overnight, so one painting session there. And now moving on to the contrast paint. Now, I'm using contrast because it is a quick way of getting you know the paint down onto the model, and the dry brush layers we've used will let the contrast do its magic and really put some different highlight layers and things on there so we're using the basilicanum gray on the hooves and across all the claws and things around there so this is kind of what you would say a normal slap chop color scheme um, but because we've used that seraphim sepia in there it's putting a little bit more darkness into all the recesses and then we'll move on to the armor so the two different schemes we're going to look at i did the high fleet kraken first with the flesh terrors red here and we're really kind of covering any carapace part any of that kind of armor part now initially um i wasn't sure what color scheme to do with my tyranny i'm still not sure i actually got um an extra couple of termagants because i popped into a local games workshop and that's their model of the month uh, so i thought i'd do a couple of test schemes rather than leaping into painting the actual models and I actually like how both of these turned out and you'll see at the end i've still got to decide what i'm doing so now moving on after we've done all the armored carapace we're taking a volupus pink to do on the tongue and kind of the fleshy parts around the model now this is not too much of a tone away from the red and obviously the purple we're going to use in the alternate color scheme and what i've tried to do is take colors that complement each other so you know the bone white and the off-white dry brush and then we're using the volupus pink after we've used the red so all the tones kind of match together similar i would say when we move on uh, to the next stage when we're going to take some majors purple after we've done all those fleshy bits and we're using the majors purple in the kind of ammunition parts of these kind of bioweapons and also in the splits and gaps and cracks and things in the skin so we've got the pink on the actual fleshy parts we've got the uh, majors purple in the bits that feel a bit more weaponized and they're all very similar tones to each other and i'm taking a little bit of plague bearer flesh and just dropping that onto the skull onto the base to give it that kind of slightly rotten effect and that is it that is the scheme done i think it's quite effective i think it's really nice and overall it was about 15 minutes per model now I'm going to quickly touch on the Leviathan scheme and I wasn't going to initially do this. I thought I want to do High Fleet Kraken. For me, that's the classic early 2000s kind of colour scheme for NIDS. Because I had some spare models and I actually quite enjoyed the Kraken colour scheme, I thought let's do Leviathan. Now rather than taking Leviathan purple, which I know is a contrast colour scheme, I felt that was a little bit dark. So we've taken Shyish purple, which is kind of um, a slightly lighter version of that. But I find when it settles into the deep recesses, especially on top of that uh, the, the wash we did it goes like a nice bit darker and then out to the edges it, it's a slightly brighter purple if you wanted to make it a bit deeper you could put a second layer of uh, the contrast on but maybe put it more into the recesses but i really like the sort of slightly brighter version of the armor now i'm just showing you doing the volupus pink tongues and things and some of the uh, fleshy gaps purely to show you actually when you're doing this scheme the advantage i suppose of uh, speed paint is it is quick but you do need to pay attention to what you're doing because when I did this scheme here, I got to uh, painting these gaps and realised I've missed some of the armour panels across the top of the uh, the 
the weapon there. So we just quickly went back, opened the previous pot and just corrected that kind of mistake as we go. And again, maybe 15 to 20 minutes max doing this paint scheme. And I think I did one of each model, but I think if you were to do a batch of sort of 10 or so models, leave the wash to dry overnight, it would definitely be a quick and effective scheme. So I'm really happy with the two. I've not quite decided which scheme to use for my whole army. So if you've got an opinion, drop it in the comments down below. So I hope you did enjoy that video for a nice quick speed paint. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again on the channel soon.